Here we are at example 12 from the 0 0.2 number two set of notes. We're asked to graph this rational function. Now the beautiful thing about this is that everything has actually already gone ahead and factored for us. So we notice this x plus one, there's one on top, and there's also one on bottom. We can go ahead and cancel those out. This x plus three can just simply cancel with this x plus three on the bottom. And so our final function that we have, f of x, is actually just equal to negative three. And as a result, what we should be seeing, since there's no x's at all here, uh, is pretty much just a straight line, kind of going like this, at y equals negative three. Now, again, when we're talking about finding those holes, you still set this bottom not equal to zero, just like normally. Uh, so we have this x minus one is not equal to zero, and that x plus three is not equal to zero, much like we did with our vertical asymptotes. From here, all we do is go ahead and uh, you know, solve for each one appropriately. So this will just come out to be x is not equal to positive one. Over here, when you subtract three from both sides, you get x is not equal to negative three. So we see some holes uh, at one and negative three. However, there's an issue. When we try going ahead and plugging back these into our new function, well, there's no x here. Oh no, what's going on there? Well, again, a moment ago, we said that this would just be a line happening at negative three. So we can go ahead and just graph that line at negative three. So here is that line. There are no vertical asymptotes because literally everything canceled out, so that's kind of nice. But there are in fact holes at, for example, this specific x value. At x being one, well, according to our function, it's negative three, there's actually existing a hole here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just erase a little bit of area right here. And so we should see a little hole still right there. And our function is actually still also connected to him. So that is what you should actually end up seeing. Notice it's still part of that function, even though we, there's no x value to really plug into that function. Uh, we're still allowing kind of that smooth y is equal to negative three line. Now to take care of this negative three, it's actually the exact same thing. So we're just gonna go over negative three for our x values. It has to happen with this line, you know, cross through that line. So we're gonna go ahead and erase a little bit just so we can squeeze in that hole. and just kind of connecting it from each side. So this is actually what our graph would look like. Notice, this is what we said in the example 12 video, or I'm sorry, the example 11 video, that is that removable discontinuity. It is discontinuous because you kind of see this jump due to the holes. So again, that's why it's discontinuous. So notice there's actually this removable discontinuity simply because there is that hole there and you do see this kind of jump in the graph. It actually happens twice in this one. Uh, so that is again what our image looks, and this is in fact what our line is, y is equal to negative three uh, when we kind of simplified things. And just one last thing, uh, because we found that x value, it's at one for this hole, we have the hole happening at one. The y values are always gonna be negative three. You can even see it on the graph, it's always gonna be negative three. Uh, so we should see a hole here at one, negative three. That's where this hole is and then the other one at negative three, negative three. So again, these holes are actually specific points. Notice, in fact, it's literally a point. So again, that is example 12 from the 0 0.2 number two set of notes.